Let's use our newfound knowledge to do some multiplication problems. So we're going to be using, if you can see here, our C scale and our D scale. So our first number, and remember we're keeping track of the tens place here, our first number is going to be 45 and our second number is going to be 16. So we move the one on the C scale to the number on the D scale. So I'm going to move that one to 4.5 so that's all the way out here. Okay. So 4.12345. 4.5. And then move our hairline over here to 1.6. And we've got 1.123456. So move that over. And then read our final value off of the D scale. So our final value is 7.12. So 7.2 is our final value. Now that's not going to be 7.2, because our numbers are 45 and 16. It's not going to be as big as 7,200. So we know that 720 is going to be our answer about that. In this case, it does turn out to be exact. All right, our second number, 45 times 31. Well, we're already at 45 here. So our one on our C scale has moved to 45. Uh, however, we don't have enough room off of the end to go to 3.1 on our C scale. So what do we do? Well, there's a couple of things we can do. One is run this uh, C all the way over to 4.5 on the opposite side. So this, is, this does wrap around. And then we can read off our second number as 3.1. So 3.1, that's just a little bit before the pi symbol. We've got 3.1 on our C scale. And then read off our number on our D scale. So that's 3.567892, about 3.92. And sorry, that's one point. 1.392. And if we look at our, our calculation that I've already done for us over here, it's 13.95. So we are off by three. Not, not a very big percentage. Well, that's less than half a percent. For engineering calculations, that'll work just fine. Alright, for our next calculation here, we're going to be doing 45.7 times 16.3. So let's do that first number. We can do 16.3, so that's going to be 1, 6, and then 3, so right about there. And then we'll look over on our hairline over here, and we want to move to uh, 4.57. Uh, so we've got 4.5 right there in the middle, uh, 4.55, 4.57 right about there. And then reading off of our bottom scale, we have 7.1234 and then just before 45. So 7.044, let's call it. Maybe 445. And if you look here, we've got 744.9. So again, very close in our uh, estimation. Let's do another one here. We've got 2.3 times 4.5. So 2.3, 2.123, and then times 4.5. And look, again, we've run off the, the edge of the, the rule here. However, we can use the CF scale. We'll see here CF, that stands for folded. So we'll use the CF scale to do our other calculation, which is 4.5. So move that over to 4.5, and then read off the result on the folded DF scale. So there's DF on the end over here. So read off, we've got 1.0. We haven't got to 1.1 yet, so 1.01235. So 1.035, and just again, moving our tens place, it's probably about 
Hey, and we look at that and we are uh, exactly at 10.35. All right, last thing we are going to do is apply a chain calculation. So I've got four sets of numbers that I wanted to multiply here, and we'll see if we get that result in the end. So let's use all of those different kinds of multiplication we've used so far. So let's do 4.4 first. So I move over to 4.4. And then 3.9 is our second number. So let's use our folded scale since we're off the edge. So 3.9 is our second number. And then I don't even have to remember this number that I'm at currently. I can just go ahead and use the scale. But remember, we're using the folded scale, so we'll move the 1 on our folded scale over to that hairline that we've just moved. All right, our next number is going to be 18.6. So that's 1, 8, 6. And let's see. Let's fold it back into this guy. So we're going to do that times 1, 8, 6. So now I'm back on the regular C scale. So now I'm somewhere around 3.029 or something like that, or 3.19. And then our last number is going to be 23.7. So move our 1 over there to our current hairline. Sorry, my slide rule is just a little bit stiff. And read off our final number is 23.7. So move this over here. We've got 1, 2, 3, point, oh, right about there. 23.7. And read off our final number on the D scale. So we have right around 7.1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 7.56. Yeah, just a little bit past 7.56. 7.561, I'll call it. 7.561. And again, just looking at these numbers, we'd have to guess about what the decimal place would be. So that's going to end up being 7,561. And that's multiplication.